Xavier Rattan Mays had his best game of the season against North Carolina. One of the reasons? A little time with his dad. Whenever I get that opportunity to be with him, I kind of just forget about everything else that around me and I get to just focus in on, like I said, those little things, those little details. And, um, just that father-son relationship is definitely special to me and he means so much to me. Xavier's a hard worker. I mean, he kind of over, he's tougher on himself than he should be. And I think for us, we go at it a little bit, you know, in the gym, and he doesn't want to lose to me. <laughs> I don't want to lose to him. I push him, and, and, and it was more of a conversation and just go out there and relax and have fun out there. The fun for XRM comes naturally, following in his father's footsteps on the basketball court with his work ethic. He works at it um, in practice, and he works at it off the floor. And uh, that's a testimony to his father, instilling in him a work ethic. X was the kind of kid that he would wake you up at 5, 5.30. There you mentioned, he, you promised you would work out, uh, get up, let's go. So I, I would say with him, it was really easy. I think that came from him, just watching, uh, growing up watching him uh, and his work ethic. He was always the first one in the gym and the last one out. Father and son both noticed the work paying off in high school, where despite protests from his dad, Rattan Mays began winning when the two would play. Probably senior year in high school, uh, and, and he just couldn't, he didn't have the physical aspects to be able to keep up anymore and um, it, was, it was a tough night for him. I don't think he talked to anybody in our family that night. He, he just went about his business but um, he know, he, he'll still say he can beat me to this day but I think that's just his competitive spirit. When I really realized he was uh, headed in the right direction was his senior year in high school. I can see it in his body, his body language and his shot and his poise, his confidence level, you know, the way he walked, he stood tall. us. So at that point I realized uh, he was going to be uh, something special. And when it came time to choose a college, Rattan Mays chose his father's alma mater. I always had in the back of my head just to be able to, as a young kid, I think um, a lot of kids in my position with a father that's played at, at this level, and you always kind of want to follow in their footsteps. You want to uh, do some of the things that they did with their career. And, um, just like I said, following their footsteps, and that was huge for me to be able to come here. Going through the process, it was him making his own decision. Of course, I was a, uh, biased a little bit towards my university. I wanted him to come down. I felt like coming down here helped me become a man, uh, uh, coming from Connecticut, and uh, him being from up north. I just thought that this could be an experience and help him grow to be a young man. Theron starred for the Seminoles in the late 80s, averaging more than 23 points a game in his final year in 1990. Xavier knows the success his father had at FSU and has his sights set on his father's numbers. Trying to be able to break some of his records and uh, just, to, just to do some of the things that he did and, and I think that was the biggest factor for me. I think it's very important to, to, uh, to X, but I, I also think it's important to his, to his dad. I think his dad would be uh, very, very proud to have his son uh, outdo him. All while wearing his dad's number. That was huge for me and my family to be able to continue on what he did here and um, kind of just, just be that extension for him. And, and wearing his number was, uh, he might not have said it too much, but I think that was uh, really, really special for him.